We are the Modern Humans on KSJO here every night. Started a little late tonight because of the Blue Oyster Cult interview. However, we've got something that couldn't even top that, a little more exciting. We've got Rocky Erickson here in the studio with us. And we're talking to Rocky about some of the uh, new material he brought down from his yet-to-be-released album. Do you have a date for the release of that album yet? Uh, let me see. Let me check with my manager. When, when is the... I think it'll be a little while yet, like the uh, first of the year or so, because there's, there's uh, negotiations going on. So we got a real scoop here tonight. It'll probably be uh, in January. Yeah, I'd say the first part of the new year. Really. Well, we'll yeah. definitely be looking forward to that, and you can definitely hear it.
back to Rocky Erickson. Yeah, all right. So, what's been going on with you in the last year and a half since we talked? You been oh, to Texas? Yeah, I've been to Texas, kind of taking a vacation. And uh, uh, Craig and um, our producer, uh, Stu Cook, used to be with uh, Clarence Clearwater Revival. Oh, yeah, right. Came down and, and we started getting the album together down in Texas. I guess we, I don't know how long we've been working on it, but uh, we got we made some cuts in Texas and made some cuts down here in, in, in uh, San Francisco. Great. All right. We're going to look forward to hearing a lot of it. We have some tape yeah. that you brought with us. Sounding like you're rock and rolling like you haven't done in a long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't wait to start the tour. We're going to do a tour after um, after the album is released. And uh, I can't wait for that. Well, the aliens are coming up here to play with you shortly, or what? Uh, a possibility? Yeah, probably in the 1980s. Oh, yeah? Okay. I heard that uh, back in Texas you were playing with the Nerve Breakers. Yeah, uh, I did a show at the Palladium. Right, we had a, we heard a tape. They advertised it as. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Was, you really played good. it on there. You played it here. Um, like um, they they advertised it as the legendary Rocky Erickson. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> what do you think of the Nerve Breakers? I liked them. You liked them? Great. We've got some Nerve Breakers material, which we'll play a little later on. Yeah, we've had a lot of requests for them. They're coming out here pretty shortly to do some gigs at the Mabuhai. Yeah, maybe and, you can uh, show up, you know, and do a few jams or something. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, I was going to ask you a few things about your writing, but I think before we do that, we're going to get into uh, some uh, other material. I told you I'd come back. Remember Buchanan? But you're not Buchanan. I don't look like him, but I am him. Don't you recognize the voice, Jim? I promise to see you die, and I will. in his veins he will return home the next song we're going to be playing is tonight is the night of the vampire there's been a you notice that when you were a little kid you used to go to horror movies every every friday and saturday they'd have they'd have uh or saturday mornings they'd have about three or four horror movies uh after worlds collide when worlds collide and things like that 
Preacher with the Atom Brain, and then and then uh, horror films kind of went to um, all the horror of Dracula and things like that. They got they got really good, but they 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 begin prying on your inner fears. And so this next song we're going to play tonight is the night of the vampire prize in on your inner fears. One of the lines in it is, if it's raining and you're running, don't slip in mud, because if you do, you'll slip in blood. Tonight is the night of the vampire. theme through a lot of your songs you know you're talking about demons and vampires and uh you know being possessed by these kind of evil spirits and stuff but you seem to be at friends with them you know you seem to have made friends with your demons oh is that right yeah now, how do you do that most people are afraid of their demons i don't know i guess that's the reason I, I i haven't found a horror movie yet that frightens me i just love them how about the exorcist uh it didn't frighten me it frightened the person with me but <laughs> We had to leave early because... There's they, never been a movie that frightened you? No. Why? I don't know. I just feel like at home with horror. You do? Yes. I feel like it, it'll it never hurt me. I, when I was a kid, my mother wouldn't let me go watch horror movies until one one time I broke my leg, and she, she said, well, I'll let you go watch horror movies because, <laughs> you know, it was kind of a thing to do, you know? Yeah. But, but cause I, because I have this, I don't know, it's like many people have told me, says, you know, Shelley Berman did this thing about buttermilk. He says it's almost as if, you know, when someone's drinking, it's, it's as if you shouldn't be watching. And, uh, and <laughs> it's like with me and Hara, Hara, it's that, you know, many people have commented, says, well, I've heard of people liking Hara, but not that much, you know. And so, <laughs> Well, why do you think people are afraid of things like that? Because they don't, what, they don't face their own uh, demons or what? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it. And like I say, the the movies of today are are, are uh, going toward people's inner fears, you know. They're, they're yeah, really, you know, inside yeah, their minds in, instead of instead of instead of the big creature with the atom brain outside their body <laughs> fear, where it scared your whole body. This kind of gets a little part in your mind and, and stirs it in, in, into terror. Well, you think that if you're scared of them, you, you block them out. Yeah. That, you well, know, I know a lot of people still people leave the still leave the theater, you know. Right. Yeah, but you won't, eh? No, I won't. <laughs>
What's the name of that? Uh, I never have their bloody hammer. I never have the bloody hammer. It's about it's about these. Uh, it's this story I used to read in, in uh, school about these. About these. It's a true story about these uh, college kids that uh, on their initiation into the college they they had the the uh, the people coming into their uh, uh, fraternity. They had to, they they had him go into a house where this man had cut his wife up, and then, and then they and uh, they had him go into a house where this man had cut his wife up, and and they had to stay in there for an hour, in at, at night. And so uh, the first person went in, and he didn't come out, and the second guy went in, and he didn't come out, and the third one went in, and he didn't come out. <laughs> Sounds and, and Finally, when they all didn't come out, the 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 other fraternity members went in to look for him, and they couldn't find him, and they heard this tapping on top of the attic. So they climbed up in the attic, and there was one of the fraternity. I mean, one of the guys that were gonna, they were initiating into their fraternity, and his his hair had turned stark white, and his eyes had rolled to the top of his head, and he was hammering the attic floor with a bloody hammer. Great, <laughs> I love it. That's great. That's not like a movie. <laughs> yeah. You ever thought about being in a movie? Yeah, I thought about it. We we'll, should do we'll, that. We'll do that later. You could make the ultimate science fiction horror film. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, on KSJO right now, I think we ought to listen to some more music from Rocky Erickson. <laughs>
couple of listener requests there. A oh, two-headed dog, a new version. Yes. You're convinced it's new now, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why don't you talk about that song a little bit? What two headed dog? Yeah, it's been around for a while, right? Did it yeah, a it's, ago. it's been it's been around, a pretty good while now. Uh, I just, uh, what do you want me to say about it? Well, what's the song about? Oh, it's it's about. I found this article about this little girl who'd been nailed to a cross by her father, and it made me want to write a song about it. So I did. <laughs> about the two headed dog. With yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Is an is is a, a, a similarity. Okay. We're gonna have we've had requests to try to get some calls for you on the air. Okay, fine. So we're gonna try to technically maneuver here, see if we can work it out. If you want to call Rocky and talk to him on the air, it's five seven five eighteen hundred. Okay, caller, you're on the air. Can you hear us? Hey, David. Hey, hey, Rocco. Yeah, I'm listening, man. This is a uh, busy bee here. Yeah, okay, I'm listening. How you doing? Pretty good, good team. Hey, you missed home. a great movie tonight. Yeah, fumigate it. What's the name of it? Oh, uh, something about uh, the. The Devil's Blood on the Devil's Claw. Oh, yeah, Bob Wilcox. Yeah, right, over on Channel 50. <laughs> yeah, they have him in a mill home right now, Bob Wilcox. Really, he took a look at a photo someone slipped under his door today. And... Yeah, he's in a mill home. He, he's been in a mill home I, pretty near all his life, Bob Wilcox has. Well, him and Uncle Jay. Huh? I blame it on his folks. Oh, yeah. He sure is horrifying, and I can't get off his station at night, you know. Yeah. He's one of the most horrifying people I've ever met, you know. Say, did you know they had an earthquake in the uh, Bermuda Triangle? No, I didn't know about it. I think that's just a lie, man. I, I read it in the National Enquirer. Oh, really? Oh, well, then it's the <laughs> truth for sure. I heard that, uh... Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we got to run along to another call, okay? Run along now. Okay. Okay, okay I want to talk to you about your depravity. Okay, man, who is this? <laughs> and this is Cocky Jerry, isn't it? No, no, Bill, Bill. Cocky Bill. Right, right, right. Greg's friend, right? Right, exactly. Well, Cocky Bill? Yeah? You want me to shoot you and Ed Sullivan at the same time? Absolutely no. No, 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 no. I, I You're not going to push anybody around here in my horror show, are you? No, no, I'm not just saying that uh, the world needs more of your type of depravity. Oh, I, I, I think so, too. Absolutely, I can know where you're coming from. I, I'd really appreciate this. Yeah. You know where he's coming from? You're the interpreter right now, aren't you? Well, I'm trying to be to a lot of people around here, you're yeah. faster than most, aren't you? Fast. <laughs> faster than a speeding bullet. Really? Faster than a speeding bullet. Right. Well, you take it easy and keep up the good depravity. Yet. Okay, now let's hear some... That's right. Meat take, Hook, too. We'll, we'll take one more call. Hello. Meat Hook Erickson. Hey, Rocky. Yep, Meat Hook here. Hey, hey, hey. We, you know, talk about person. werewolves. Yeah, right, yeah. The, I mean, you reminded me of a time when I was a kid, and my, my older brother kept me up. Yeah. And werewolf was on, and, you know, you just bring me back to that, man. And I don't know, how did you dig a band, you know? Yeah, right. I, I mean, they're into werewolves? What does that mean? Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I tied into Lon Chaney Jr. and uh, people like Bela Lugosi and... Uh, <laughs> Tor Johnson, people like that, Ed Gwynn, people like that, you know. But, you special know, people to me. I think that, you know, you have to say something special, and you have to tie it into a special person. Well, right? I think you really are saying something special. Like you're Oh, thank a... you, man. Thank you. Like, thank you. You know, ever since Lenny. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, did you know Lenny? <laughs> Who's Lenny Bruce? That's right. Uh, I guess I knew him pretty well, you know, I... I, I, I wouldn't be afraid, man. I, you know, there's always people out there that'll talk, you know. Because you're like out there, you know, you're just saying it. You know, oh, you're yeah. just saying, like, whatever comes into your head. I don't think anybody ever uh, messes so with that. So you're on the radio, and, you, and you, you are doing something that most people in this country have uh, never been allowed to do. The shadow knows. <laughs> <laughs> watch it, man. You like it? Well, you know. Oh, uh, I'm glad. Uh, you, glad you can do it. This is Grandfather Child, man. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Is uh, Hubcap? Child's mind. 
Rocky. Hey, a whole hour so far almost. A good old Rocky Erickson. Also a song you wrote a couple years ago, isn't it? Yeah. With uh, the original Alien Band. Right. What's the name of it again? Mine, Mine, Mind. Mine, Mine, Mind. Yeah. Okay. He's charting that Nazi down, song. So he won't there. forget. <laughs> Nazi song. Very good. Nazi song. Yeah. Nah, it doesn't sound like a Nazi song to me. Oh, well, it's a Nazi kid song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, we were just talking uh, when the records were playing about uh, like when you have a chance to sit down and play some of your favorite records. You know, what do you listen to? What kind of rock well, and roll do you like? Uh, I guess the Who have gotten closest to what I like. I like when they destroy their equipment on stage and Great. and go really frantic because we you know we get into that a lot. Have you, when you were uh, you know when you were a kid, what did you listen to? I listened to Elvis a lot. Little Richard. Oh, uh, he inspired yeah. me a whole lot. I, I love Little Richard. The fathers of rock and roll you're talking right, about. There, right, Really? Well, Roy Harbison, Buddy That song Holly. about uh, Don't Shake Me Lucifer that we played, was that the name of it? Yeah. That was a real kind of Little Richard type tune. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, let me see. Uh, there Goes My Baby. I love that song. Move it, moving on down the line. Oh, right. Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah. Hey, uh, before we go, uh, we're going to hear another song. It's going right. to be called I Walk With a Zombie, right? Yeah, we're doing this just for That's you. That's one of your favorite this is, movies. This is, uh, this is uh, uh, the cut before. In other words, this is uh, this won't be on the album like this. This has, this is just uh, uh, some of, demo. Yeah, it's a, it, right. well, it, it's, a, it's a demo of a demo, but I'm doing it just for <laughs> you because you wanted to hear it. So, it. You wanted to hear any part of it, so I... So I'll, I'll go ahead and let you play it. Oh, great. We appreciate that. You know, next time we want to have you come back here, and uh, it might be a good idea. Like, you should go through your collection, and you should pick out some of your old favorite songs. Uh -huh. and you can come down sometime, and we'll do DJs together, and you can spin your favorite records, and we'll spin ours. Okay, sounds like fun. Thank yeah. you a lot for coming down oh, here. Oh, I really enjoyed really, it. Really, really great. Modern Human listeners, a preview of your great new album. I really like it. Well, once again, I really enjoyed it. Closer. Got to get closer to once the Once again, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, great. This is my favorite song, so uh, let's get out with it.